Got him really back in the game. Well. Got him back in the game. Made shots. And, you know, he's going to come in inspired to play, and they, they have to have this game. The, the thing that happens is it's kind of like uh, you're in this battle, and one, one side will give up their life and for that battle, and the other team's just battling. You understand this? If one team's willing to lose their life for their cause, and you're not, you're losing. Now, maybe through time period, attrition, but you're eventually losing because they will keep coming. And, and we've got to have a team that understands if a team comes in at us and they're playing like if they lose, they're going to the electric chair, you better do the same. They're doing that, correct? Right? Everybody, everybody, they will. I mean, this is, this is a game they got to have. I mean, they have to win this game. And they don't really. I mean, they can go in the tournament, win a couple games, and do well. Or get to the finals or win it and get in themselves. And Billy's a great coach, and they could do that. But the easiest way to do this is put it on this game and win this game. Now you're right there where you need to be. Win one or two in the tournament. Just one, maybe. Bang, you're in the, in, in the NCAA. So it is that kind of game for them. It's like you say, they're not robots. Your guys. How tough is it for them to match that game after game? It's hard. It's hard. But, but here's what it is. See, what if three guys are really bringing it, but two decide they're not? Then it looks like your whole team's not bringing it. Or truly, four guys are in a dogfight battle, vicious, yet one guy chooses not to do it. And so what happens is they get 10 offensive rebounds in the first six minutes. Three of them on one guy. It's, it's a team full of guys committed. What we did have in the huddle last game, which I really liked, is they were coaching each other. A couple guys, they were getting on guys who weren't listening. Would you listen? Listen. And I looked and went, oh, that's wonderful. Then I don't have to say it. And then if, coach, if I see a guy go under a screen, I'm telling you to take him out. Do you all hear what I just told coach? Beautiful. That means you're starting to become empowered, which is important at this time of the year. That they, they want it as bad as I want it for them. And they're willing to coach each other and challenge each other. And not do it in a mean way, not do it in a hateful way. It's just, you better understand we want to win. And if you get in the way, you got to come out. I'm telling him to take you out. And then deal with it and come back in and help us win. It's bigger than you. This is about us. That's what they're telling each other, which is a good thing. Who are some of the guys that are there? Uh, you know, if you were in the huddle, you, you know, if you didn't get any clipboard shavings coming over your head, you'd be able to see it. Can you see terms to impersonation of you and Cuz and uh, Hood and uh, Harrison? No, but he'd be off the team if I saw mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't give us you. He's a little afraid. He said there's still good minutes move. left. Good move. <laughs> good move. Last question. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, guys.